It is a trash bag mystery reveal here at Paper and Moose. Lately, I have been finding some amazing things hidden in trash bags. So yes, true bona fide trash picker, trying to find the treasure that's in the trash. So join me as I go through bag number one of, I think about nine. <laughs> Let's get to it and see what we can find. You are new to the channel yes you heard correctly I took nine trash bags the home owners that the trash bags belong to have passed away the wife passed away about 10 years ago and the husband passed away in December 2019 he was in his mid 90s and a World War II vet and I have been taking their trash their relatives were doing a clean out and they are putting pretty much anything inside trash bags I found things from Barbie dolls to toilet seats. So what's in this bag? I don't know. This is the bag that I heard bells. So I'm guessing perhaps maybe something Christmas. We shall see whether it is actual trash or treasure. And if I need to just quit my trash picking or keep going with my gut instincts. So let's see what we have. I see something red. It's a cooler. I think it's a cooler. That looks like it's paint. Move over there, bud. So, the family that lived here, they did love to travel. I think it's empty inside. Yeah, pretty nice. In great shape. And that's the thing that is great about the stuff from this home is that nothing really that smelled, it hasn't been that bad. That's trash. We have a Resolve carpet brush. Clothes, oh, styrofoam, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. Eckert. No, Rite Aid, or Eckerd. Eckerd is not in business anymore. The top of a VacuSil ice bucket. Oh, is this a little lunch bag? It says, dusty, rumpled, and crick and fresh up with this plate. Parents Magazine's Playtime Pack. Styrofoam. I want to know what those bells were. Blue oyster call on your feet or on your knees sticker. That's pretty cool. It does have some damage, but didn't they sing Don't Fear the Reaper? That's a great Halloween song. Seasons Don't Fear the Reaper. A work shirt, perhaps? I think so. It looks a little bit newer. I'll put that over there. I don't want to... I've also found a lot of nurse uniforms and I'm still working on those. Villager pants. Alright, let's get this styrofoam out of the way. There's a bag. Oh, we're actually finding men, men clothes now. Before it was a majority women. Some more shirts. I don't want to bore you too much with the clothes. These look like they're probably 80s style. Miss Blake. Nothing that I can fit this time. So those I will donate. More clothes. I want to see what's in this bag. Is that still recording? I think so. More clothes. Styrofoam bag, oh clothes. Is this another nurse uniform? No, it is a four in shirt, man shirt, dress pants. We have a Nautica jeans outlet bag. We have a 
have Christmas. I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know what it is. It's in there, but right, let's save that for last. There's a pine cone wreath at the bottom. Some Christmas ribbon. There's another super bright lights. These are definitely 90-ish, 80s garland that has seen much better days. And more pine cones. You don't need old pine cones. This might be a quick look see. see. Um, oh, you probably can't see, but yeah, it's a Oh, those are the bells that I heard. Oh no, they're on the bottom. So yeah, a, a pine, pine cone wreath. Too bad this wasn't a Victorian hair wreath. That'd be awesome. It would not fit in with the rest of the stuff, but okay, here we go. <laughs> they made their own little bell chime thing. That's cute. This is a nice vintage, there we go. I'm keeping the bells. Those are a keeper. This is like a plastic, so, or yeah, vinyl. Super easy to clean. Have my own set of vintage Christmas bells. So now I wonder what's in that other bag. It's Christmas, I saw lights. You know, it could be good. It could be a run of the mill. There's one way to find out. Maybe you can, can you see in there? All right, the classic candle on the window, candles. These are actually hard sellers at the flea market. People like the ones that are automatic that you don't have to plug in. Oh, these lights. I remember these. When one goes out, they all stay on. What a lie. This is more garland with lights. There's a tin in the bottom. More of the lights. A whole bunch of holly, nice holly um, decor that you can hang up. Oh, Christmas tree tins. These are cute. Come on now. All right, well, there we go. Really nice shape too. Those are keepers. One sad um, vintage flame bulb and a cord that I will not use. These bulbs are great. Oftentimes you will see whole packages of these. They just have a really great vintage look to them. And they make the reproductions, common reproductions now. There's some poinsettias. That's it for this bag. So there were some treasures. The bells, the cooler bag, which was actually pretty nice, the red one, the clothes, those will get, um, I think I can put them in one of the donation bins. Goodwill's not accepting anything, so they'll go there because they are nice. Like there's nothing wrong with them. And then the blue oyster cult bumper sticker. I know people like their music, so. Bag number one. I can't wait to see what's in the rest of them. <laughs> Interesting. You know, I never know what I'm going to find in here. We have some Christmas, so maybe there'll be more Christmas than the other bags. We'll just have to wait and see. So hope you enjoyed this a little bit quicker and some of my other garbage bag opening videos, but that, that, that's great. Um, we get to the point. There's less of me rambling, but so yeah. 
you never know what you're gonna find in the trash. So thank you for watching. If you were like, what are these garbage bags she's talking about? Go check out some of my other videos where I took other bags from this home and I found some great things. You will not be disappointed. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like if you have not yet and stay tuned for more trash. <laughs> Until then, have a great day and I will see you all next time. <laughs>